Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're here in the shop. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I crown a gun barrel. Alright, so today we are going to be doing a pistol barrel. And this is for the SD9VE. I've done a lot of stuff with this gun before and I'll do a video later on uh, what this will look like after it's done and recoded and everything but today we're just going to show how you can crown a barrel and how you might be able to do this even without a lathe. We're going to be using a lathe but I'll talk about how you can possibly pull this off just with some hand tools and maybe a drill motor. So what we're going to do is with this barrel in place we're going to uh, face this off so it's flush with the end of the slide and then we're going to uh, crown the barrel or put a chamfer in and this will give it a really cool look and if done right not off center or anything like that it will uh, help accuracy with uh, dispersed gas and stuff like that but you are going to need to cut this down somehow some guns uh, have a longer barrel than others sticking out of the slide like box for instance they stick out about 120 thousandths and this barrel on the SD9VE is only sticking about, out about 20 or 30 thousandths so you won't have to take as much off of this and then when you go to crown it you'll need some kind of chamfering tool and uh, you can use a countersink in a drill motor if you do it properly and are aligned properly but we're going to be doing it in the lathe so let's jump right into it so first thing we're going to do is face this to length now if you don't have a lathe that is possible to if it's sticking out far like a Glock to take a, a cut off tool or something and cut it to length and then take a file if it's not sticking out as much like this on the SD9 you can take a file and just get it down to how you need and then we'll move on to crowning the end so we're going to put it in the lathe and face it to length right now Take a file and just deburr the outer edge. So you can see it is a little shorter, put it back in the slide, and now it's flush with the slide. Now we're going to move on to putting the crown in. And this is the tool that we're going to be using to put the uh, crown in the barrel. Put this in the chuck.
going to take some grit sandpaper and just polish it a little bit to give it a smoother finish. And there you can see it's crowned. And that's what it looks like now. And now that this is done, this was originally coated uh, titanium nitride by Titanium Gun in California. I have worked with them in the past. And now I'll be sending it back to them to get it recoded and be in an upcoming video on the SD9VE showing off uh, how you can make a custom barrel by yourself. So that is how you crown a barrel. Uh, I did use a lathe, but it is possible to pull this off with just like a saw and a uh, file to get it the length that you want and then just to put a uh, tool and a drill motor and be able to crown it yourself and I know places like Brownells and Gunsmith places have special tools to do this. Uh, put the crown in there or the chamfer and you can do it by yourself at home but that's how I do it and that's how you do a crown in a barrel. If you like this video be sure to smash that like button. If you haven't yet consider getting subscribed to the channel and I'll see you guys next time.